Before you get rid of your iPhone for any reason, you need to remove all of your personal data. Today I'm going to show you how to perform a factory reset on your iPhone. Before we get started, there are a few things you need to do first, like backing up your data. This includes any contacts, photos, videos, or other data that you don't want to lose during the process. The first thing you decide is if you want to back up to your home computer or to the cloud. But basically, you just connect your phone to Wi-Fi, go to Settings and connect to iCloud, and go to iCloud Backup and follow the prompts to start it. Now, if you have a Mac, you're probably familiar with syncing your phone to iTunes. Just hook up your phone with a cable, open up iTunes, and make a backup. Unless, of course, you've updated to Catalina. In that case, you don't have iTunes anymore, but you can still back up your phone. Open up a Finder window, and this time when you plug it in, you'll see your iPhone in the sidebar under Locations. Click on your phone, and you'll see a window that looks a lot like the devices sections of iTunes did. Here on the General tab is where you can start the backup of your phone. This is also where you come to restore the backup later on if you need to. Luckily, iTunes is still available for Windows, so if that's you, go ahead and plug in your phone, open up iTunes, and proceed from there. Okay, you're all backed up. Now what? If you're wiping your phone to resell it or give it away, now, you'll want to go through and log out of all your services like email and social media apps, and clear the data from the phone if you can. Sometimes that means deleting the app from the phone itself. This next part is very important if you're moving from iPhone to Android. Be sure to sign out of iMessage before you wipe your phone. It will make your future texting life much easier. Finally, you also want to turn off Find My iPhone for this device so that it's no longer locked to your Apple ID. If you're keeping your phone and just want to give it a refresh, you can skip those last two steps. Okay, enough preamble. Here's how to perform a factory reset on your phone. Step one, open the settings app. Step two, select general. Step three, scroll to the bottom and select reset. Now you have one more decision to make. If you're getting rid of your phone, you'll want to do a full wipe. So select erase all content and settings. If you're holding onto it and just want to spruce things up, select reset all settings. This will keep your data intact, but will reset everything else. From there, you'll need to enter your phone's passcode and confirm you really want to reset your phone. Once you confirm, the screen will go dark, and then you'll see an Apple logo along with a progress bar. When you see a screen with hello in different languages flashing on it, you'll know the reset was a success. You can now turn the power off one last time. At this point, before you send your phone to its new home, you'll probably want to remove it from your Find My app. Open up the app. Select the device you want to remove, click the little info button, and select remove this device. The activation lock is immediately removed and you're free to give away or sell your device. Just be sure to remove the SIM card before you do. Okay, that's it. Your phone has been reset to factory settings. You can ship it off to its new owner, send it in for service, or reload the backup you made earlier to see if it works any better than it did before. 